Do you need more than one knife in your go bag, in your bug out bag? Do you need more than one knife? I'm gonna show you the answer right now. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Stay right there. Hey, I'm gonna show you what's in this bag, So This is a bug out bag that I packed. I made a video of it. There's gonna be a link above so you can see what's in this bag. But look at all these knives. This is a crazy knife. Don't go out and spend no $50 or $100 on one knife because you're going to need more than one knife. You're going to need several knives for doing different things. You're going to need one for cutting down trees and hacking stuff. You're going to need a survival knife that has all your fishing gear and stuff in the handle. It's got fishing gear and a compass and all that. I ain't going to show you. Yeah, you know, you need a, a survival knife, another one. I mean, these are lightweight and can hang on your on your uh, go bag. Here's another one, nice knife. The only one I got that's expensive is my old timer, and it's about $35, $40 for this one knife. Or you can buy all these other knives. You can buy all these, all these, all the, this one, this one, this one, and this one. You can buy all these and this one right here. This one right here is. This one right here is a good knife. Yeah, you can buy all these for what you can buy one old timer. But I swear by my old timer, I carry it in my pocket every day. Hey, hello everybody. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Thanks for viewing my video. Hey, uh, we're talking about bug out bags and different things that you need if you have to hit the road in an emergency or something and whatever. But when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have much and, and we would be turned up, turned loose in the woods on the weekends <laughs> down on the river. And me and a buddy of mine, we didn't take much with us. And uh, we took a fishing pole and, and, a, and a, a couple of knives. But... Uh, the one knife that would be great is this knife right here. Now, you know, you have these guys doing these videos and, and uh, selling knives, and they promote all these real expensive knives starting about 50 bucks and going up. You don't need to spend that much money. This knife right here, I think, was $7 at uh, Harbor Freight, and it is sharp. And it has a saw on the back of it, so you can cut, you know, cut down trees or whatever, and make you some firewood. But what's good about this knife is the hand in the handle. You can, you take that out. If you get lost, there's a compass in here, so you can get your direction. Get back to civilization if that's what you want to do. And then also, there's a little package in here that comes with all these knives. Now, I know it don't look like much, but for just a couple of days, if you have to survive, there's matches in here. There's a striker for the matches. There's a fishing hook, fish hook, with, a, you know, about 30 feet of string, maybe 50 feet of string. So you could catch some fish if you're close to water. So you can build your shelter, protect yourself, start a fire, find some way of, of uh, you know, something left around this metal or something that you could boil some water in to, to have water and that that is survival and if you have a fishing pole that would be great but if you're out the door and this is the only thing you can grab grab your knife that has your little pack in the handle that will help you do that I'm, all, I'm not going to make this video real long I'm just going to talk about some knives and stuff here that I've got I'm going to show you these knives I'm also going to say I like this backpack because it's not real big. It's, you can't put a whole lot of stuff in it and make it too heavy. It looks good and everything, but it don't have a lot of things on the outside to cut, to hook rings to or to hook clips to. If you want to if you want to hang stuff on it, it's not really that good. So when you're looking for a bug out bag, look for one that has more compartments on the outside and has places to hook your lanyards to. To hang things on because you're gonna want after you fill it up you're gonna figure out wow I need all these other things and you could just hang them on the outside 
So I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you some of these knives here and just explain to you a couple of things. Now we already talked about this knife. This little gizmo, it's a Wallet Ninja and somebody gave it to me for Christmas or my birthday or something. I've got maybe three or four of these. But it's got different size wrenches in here for working on stuff. It's got a small straight screwdriver or it can be used for Phillips. Here's another screwdriver. Um, let's see. Oh, bottle opener. This, this, this section here is a bottle opener. I mean, these are real handy little tools. Uh, this says box opener, but I don't know what that means. Box opener. And it has a measuring thing on it if you need to measure stuff. I don't know what you need to measure with. And it has a can opener here if you need to open up a can. Uh, it's the old, old crank style can. My favorite that I carry with me is this one right here. It's a, it's a, a Shadow Ops. Uh, it has a little knob on it, nub on it right here. Shadow Ops. And that's for breaking windows. If you need to break something, you'll pop and break a window. Also, if you're in a vehicle and, and can't get the seat belt loose, it has a seat belt cutter right here. gets cut. And also, it's actually a knife. So, got a little lint on it from being in my pocket. It's got a little shredded place on it here that you can cut trees with. And this is super, super sharp. Now, this knife here was probably, uh, I want to say, it's about eight or ten bucks. So, that's a good knife. This one was probably a dollar. Uh, this is another good knife if you if you need a, a knife. You know, it has a nice serrated edge here, and it's it's 440 stainless steel, and it is sharp. So that that's a bushwhacker. That'll get you that'll get you in in and out of the woods, no problem, right there. You just gotta be careful with it. Uh, another one. This one right here. This is another stainless steel knife. None of these knives are very expensive. This knife here might be 10, 15 bucks. This one here, a friend of mine gave it to me. It was laying out in her yard and it was so rusty you couldn't hardly tell it was a knife, but it was stainless steel. So I took and cleaned it up, took a wire brush to it and some emery cloth and stuff and cleaned it up. It still got a few marks on it and stuff, but I got it pretty good. It's got a heck of a handle on it. I mean, you can you can really hold on to that. Do some whacking. Whatever. I don't really know what this cutout's for. If anybody knows, make a comment below in the video and tell me what that cutout's for. That's a little dusty because it's been on my shelf and I haven't gotten it out very often. Another one that I carry every day in my pocket, and I use it just about every day, is my old timer. You gotta have an old timer, you know. It's just a it's just a little little knife and you can see it's got some drywall on it where I've been scraping drywall. And it's got one blade's broke off, so I use that for a straight screwdriver sometimes. But it's just a it's just a good little pocket knife you keep in your pocket. And also tweezers. Don't forget your tweezers. You never know when you're gonna need tweezers. And flashlights. You know, you can have all kinds of flashlights. But, you know, th this one's telescopic. It is a magnet. It is a magnet. So, if you need to reach something, it'll pick it up. Also, on the back side's also a magnet. So, if you want to stand it up, you can stand it up on something. That's not stainless steel. That's cheap. That's a cheap knife. But that's okay. It won't stick to neither one of those. Sticks to that one. Sticks to that one. So if you need something to hold your flashlight on, you could stick that up there like that. Do that. Have your light stand. So. And last but not least, this is pretty lightweight. It comes with a, a case here, and it has a, a you know you can put it put it on your belt or put it on your backpack, on your go bag or whatever, and hang it up. It's a nice knife. But you ain't going to believe this thing. 
this is I mean this is a cheap knife this thing right here cost I think it was five dollars or less I think you can get them for a couple of bucks at the flea market but this one has a serrated edge on the back that is actually a real saw you can cut down a tree that big with this thing if you got the energy to keep sawing and then you can whack the bushes and stuff but if you if you have this out in the woods and you need to cut down a tree or make some firewood you can do it fast with this knife right here and yeah it's just a cheap knife it don't even say it don't say anything on it about where it's made or anything I'm sure it's cheap metal yeah it's just it's just metal it's just steel it ain't nothing nothing fancy but that is something else right there that is crazy that scares me when I'm using it because it's got that back on it. Like, you just have to be careful, that's all. WorldTVOnDemand.com And this is a must-have tool if you're going to be out in the woods camping or bugging out or whatever. You're going to need one of these. I hope this video was helpful to you. Hey, check out my other video on what's in this bag the link is up here just click on that link when it pops out or you can click on that circle with the eye and it'll, it'll be in that it'll be a drop down there that'll have the other video for this what's inside this bag so you can see what else is in there and you know i don't have everything in this bag because this is a small bag it's just the, the essentials that you would need if you're going to have to bug out fast so hey get you a few knives don't spend fifty or a hundred dollars on one knife and be limited to one knife. You know, buy a bunch of cheap knives. So if you lose them or something happens to one of them, you ain't out a bunch of money. Again, this is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com bringing you another great video. You guys have a fantastic day. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the video and ring the bell, and I'll have another video for you soon. You guys have a great day.